short tutorial on how to create um, the code for your RenPay game or program that basically tells ask the user to input or the player to input a name so that they can pick the name of their character. So first you want to make sure you actually have your character defined. So this main character that you're allowing them to rename. For me, I make it simple and easy. Define MC because you're going to have to use that throughout the script equals character in the brackets. This is important. You want something short. You want something that you can easily remember. For me, this goes along with what I define it as MC, MC name. Some people like to use player name. You can use whatever you want to use. That's what I use. You don't have to have a color. I just added a color for just randomly. Um, this is a test build that I use to test out code so I don't break my actual demo script. Um, and I just added these elements, image and uh, background and, this, and the uh, minor dialogue so you can see this actually work. So after you have your character defined, remember that brackets is really important. We're about to use what's in the brackets. So you want to go to your label start and then you want to add a variable. That variable is going to be whatever you have in the brackets. So for me, that's MC name. If you have player name, then you put player name here. If you have something else, you put that here. So MC name equals renpay dot input and now you're going to have some parentheses. We're going to add two quotations. I'm going to go in the middle. I like to do this because I've had this one instance where I had like, you know, a thousand lines of code for my demo and then I'm going through it and I wasn't adding the parentheses and then going put the words in, inside of it. I was just opening the parentheses, adding words, I mean, opening the quotations, adding words, and then closing the quotations. And then I had like a one that was missing a quotation or it got like confused with an apostrophe. And then I had to like rewrite a bunch of stuff to try to figure out where it was. And I finally found it after like two days of me like pulling my hair out. So I really just recommend that you just do this first. And then you add the text. So we got the variable MC name equals renpay.input. And then inside your parentheses, inside your quotations, you want to put that question or that statement that's going to prompt the player to name the character. So for me, my MC is a princess, heir to the throne. So what is your name, heir? Now, I'm going to show you how to um, add in a minute after we go through the rest of this. I'm going to show you how to add if you want a default name to show up automatically. Um, but first I'm going to show you just how to have a default name if they don't add anything. So after you have this part, you want to skip a line or whatever you like to do with your code. I like to keep it clean. Again, you're going to use what's in the brackets. So you have the variable MC name equals, again, what's in the brackets, MC name dot strip and then two and then a, two um, parentheses. So you're going to have a closed parentheses. This is important because you want to make sure the character, I mean, the player doesn't have a limitation on the characters they can, like the number of characters, you know, A, B, C, D, E, they can have whatever name they want. Um, so you want to add that. Then you want to skip. Now this is the part where if the player decides they don't want to input a name or they accidentally click a button, you have already defined a name and that name will go in so they can continue on the game. So for this part, if, again, what's in the brackets, MC name equals equals so that's the equality variable you want to put those uh, quotations in, and you want to put the syntax that's really important right if you don't have the syntax your code's not going to work then you go down and it should be indented if you add that syntax then you want to have again variable again in the brackets mc name you're going to bring that from the brackets right there mc name equals and here you're going to put two quotations and then you're going to put that default name that you want the character to be so for me the character's name is violet so now I'm going to save the code, show you what this looks like, and then I'll show you how to add it so the default name shows up, and I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to go, we're going to launch this test build, so it looks a little bit different on the real demo, but here's what it looks like. You start, and then what is your name? See, there's nothing here, it's blank, and so if that's what you want, well, I would type in, oh, my name's Hannah. Okay, and then, oh, that's a horrible color, let's pretend I didn't do that. So anyway, um... You have your background. This looks weird because it's not the right dimensions, but wow, my room is awesome. Hannah, okay, see the name showed up. So we're going to X out of that. Now, what if you want to have a name that shows up as a default? So you want to kind of put that idea in the care in the player's head. So you're going to go back to your first line for this code. Okay, and you're going to go into into the parentheses after the quotation mark, you're going to put a comma. Then you can put default 
equals, open those quotations, put two quotations, go in the middle, and then you're going to put that same name that you would have if they didn't type anything. Um, and then save. Then you want to go back over here, or you want to have it, or you want to reload it if you use the control R. You're going to start. Oh, look, it showed up. So what is your name, Air? Violet, yada, yada. Um, so that's how you do that. And I realized I didn't show you if you if it's blank, so let me go back and show you that. I'm not going to be bothered to remake the video because it's just serving the same purpose. Um, okay. I don't know why I minimized that. All right, so we're going to open that back up. It's blank. We're not going to type anything. And as you can see in this horrible, horrible color that I randomly picked, I didn't mean to go back. Um, as you can see, it did show up as Violet. So it did show up with that default name. Um, so that is how you do it. And I hope you enjoy this short tutorial. And um, if you use this code in your game, I mean, it's it's out there. It just took me a really long time to figure out how to do this. Like I remember I spent weeks when I first started making my game on trying to figure out how to how to do this really badly. Cause I was like, oh my God, I don't want them to have, be forced to have a name. Like this feels like so basic. And it took me so much time looking through forms and crap to find this. So I thought I'll just make a YouTube tutorial, save someone else time hopefully. But anyway, if you, you know, watch this and you find it helpful, I'd love for you to put your game link in the, um, in the comments so I can look at your game. I'm always looking at games on itch.io. Um, or if you, you know, found it helpful, just let me know. I'll try to do more tutorials. Um, but good luck with your game.